Hi everyone. So when it comes to growing longer, thicker, or healthier hair, on the market today are all number of supplement pills and capsules that are marketed as being the solution to growing long hair faster, or whatever it is. Am I against these? No. But personally, I have always sought for a simpler, more food-based alternative to boosting my nutrition levels to benefit not only my hair health, but my overall health. And that's what this video is going to be all about. And so in this video, I will be sharing with you the herbal tea recipe that I have been mixing and drinking for several years now. And it is basically my version of a hair growth vitamin, except it's tea that I've made myself using herbs. This is a perfect and simple option for boosting your, your nutrition and mineral levels, which can all contribute to not only having a healthier body, but to also having healthier hair and scalp. So this video will contain a demonstration of me mixing the various herbs in their various proportions and then showing you how I go on to make the tea, which is actually technically not a tea, it's known as a herbal infusion. And later in the video, I'm going to explain all of that to you. I will also be sharing with you the handy tool that I use to make the process of mixing up my herbal infusion every day much more convenient. As we go over the recipe, I will be sharing with you the benefits of each herb and in the description of this video, as well as in the blog post, you can find the recipe written out for you along with links for where you can buy each of the herbs that I mentioned for this recipe. So is this herbal tea a magic bullet of some sort? No, of course not. I don't really believe in magic bullets per se, although there certainly are things that we can do that really make a difference in our hair care routine. This tea, however, does contain several minerals and nutrients, antioxidants, and several just healing properties that are really great for boosting your overall health, which in turn does also increase your hair health and your scalp health and your ability to grow long and healthy and thick hair. So in my opinion, this herbal tea mixture is so much better than any kind of pill or capsule on the market because it's made from food. It's made from herbs that literally grew out of the ground. So your body, when you drink this, your body recognizes the nutrients in this tea as being food. And so it absorbs them much more readily than if they were some sort of synthetic soup of, you know, synthetic versions of minerals and vitamins that your body has a harder time recognizing. It's sort of like the difference between reading a page of writing that's right in front of you or trying to read a page of writing that is reflected in a mirror. So it's appearing to your eyes backwards. That's sort of how your body views natural vitamins and minerals versus synthetic vitamins and minerals, which is one of the reasons why I strive to get all or almost all of my nutrients and minerals from food and superfoods that I consume on a regular basis. So I have always noticed an improvement in my complexion and my nails shortly after beginning to, beginning to drink this herbal infusion. And although hair does take longer to show results, I'm sure that over time me drinking this tea has definitely been an important puzzle piece in my own journey of growing my hair out to now almost tailbone length after having a very short haircut. So I'm going to keep this intro brief so we can just go ahead and jump into the video, but I would like to give one note before we begin. And that is, I did not create this recipe. And in fact, I don't know who created this recipe. I have seen this herbal recipe or similar variations of it from many different sources throughout the years. And I would say it is not really anyone's recipe that they came up with. Rather, it's just a piece of sort of traditional Western herbal folklore that is just known from far back in our culture that these herbs are beneficial for our overall health and nutrient levels and mineral levels, which of course benefits our hair. And to me, this is great because it means this recipe has stood the test of time. So I actually came across this herbal recipe several years ago when I was pregnant with my third child. And that's because this recipe is actually often labeled as being a pregnancy tea recipe. Now, before you get all freaked out and think, oh no, I can't take it because I'm not pregnant, it's not like that at all. The reason why this tea is often labeled as being a pregnancy tea recipe is because everyone knows that during pregnancy, our bodies need even more levels of nourishment and minerals than we do, than we do normally. And this tea is just a nutritional powerhouse of nutrients and nourishment and minerals. And let's face it, who of us doesn't need more nourishment and more minerals in our lives, whether or not we are pregnant? 
And that's why I think this is a great recipe to use for growing longer and healthy hair because it's an easy, natural, food-based way to boost our mineral levels. So whether you are not pregnant or pregnant, whether you're a man or a woman, this tea is definitely going to be beneficial for you. I shouldn't say definitely, I mean, there may be certain circumstances where you might want to avoid this, but generally speaking, all of the herbs in this recipe are what I would consider general use herbs. They're just like a general sort of tonifying herb. They're not very sort of specific in having a certain medicinal effect because those types of herbs are more herbs where you have to be careful about whether you're gonna take them. But the herbs in this recipe are more like food. They're just like very, very nutritional herbs that have a lot of nourishment and minerals in them that are just great for overall health. This tea is certainly amazing for women's health with the addition of herbs like red raspberry leaf and nettles. But again, these herbs are not only for women. Men can drink this tea and get many benefits from it as well as women. So let's jump into the recipe. Okay, so here are all of our herbs and I will have links in the description for where you can buy all of these herbs from Amazon. If you're looking for the exact proportions and amounts of herbs that you will need for this recipe, you can find the written out recipe in the description of this video as well as in the accompanying blog post. So the first powerhouse herb that we are using is nettle. Nettles are rich in micronutrients like carotene, vitamin C, manganese, iron, calcium, zinc, and chromium. And they have been used in folk medicine for goodness knows how long as a blood tonifier and just an overall very beneficial and mineral rich herb, especially for building up those who need more minerals in their life. Next is red raspberry leaf. This herb is near and dear to my heart. I have been drinking red raspberry leaf tea since my very first pregnancy because it is known to be very helpful for women's health and especially for pregnancy through toning the uterus, but it also has a myriad of other benefits that makes this a wonderful herb for men and women and whether or not you are pregnant. So it's loaded with nutrients. And it's been used for centuries to treat many health ailments. It's a great source of antioxidants. And again, like nettles, it's a general sort of tonifying herb. It's also a great source of magnesium and calcium, as well as potassium. Next is alfalfa. If you are at all familiar with the use of alfalfa in diets, like in food and eating, then you'll know that alfalfa is also a very nourishing herb, or we could say a very nourishing food, to include in our diets. It's a great general restorative herb. So in folk medicine, alfalfa is used to support thyroid health and is also rich in vitamin K, which supports healthy circulation, which of course is necessary for hair growth and circulating our blood to our scalp. Next are rose petals. Rose petals are just such a lovely herb. They're beautiful in their appearance, they smell lovely, and they taste delicious too. They really brighten up the flavor of this tea. Rose petal tea helps reduce anxiety, encourage sleep, and improves digestion. They're anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and full of antioxidants. All of these things, while not directly linked to hair growth, are all important factors if we are going to have healthy hair because after all, if we're stressed all the time or if we're not sleeping or if we have poor digestion, chances are our hair isn't going to be thriving. But if we do have all of these bases covered, our hair is much more likely to thrive. Now next is oat straw. Oat straw is another very mineral rich herb that was traditionally used in Europe as a tonic for health, beauty, and emotional resilience. It's rich in both calcium and magnesium. Now next are rose hips. Rose hips are a very high source of vitamin C, and they're known to encourage healthy skin and to reduce signs of aging. They're rich in bioflavonoids, vitamin C as I already mentioned, and vitamin C works synergistically with iron to help your body better absorb it. Rose hips are also high in antioxidants and reduce inflammation in the body, which is always a good thing. Most of us have too much inflammation in our bodies and 
it's always good to try to reduce that just for overall health as well as for hair growth and skin health. Now finally, we're using lemon balm in our recipe. Lemon balm has been used since before the Middle Ages to lift the spirits, help treat wounds, and even treat venomous insect bites and stings. Lemon balm can treat indigestion and is believed to be antibacterial. It can reduce insomnia and anxiety, which we all know can negatively impact our hair health. Before we finish up, I'd like to just give an honorable mention to this herb, which is horsetail, which I will not be including in my tea today, but it is a very viable option, a very great herb to include specifically for hair growth. Horsetail is very rich in silica and it's known to have various hair growth promoting effects, both through internal use as well as topical use. I just don't like to drink horsetail on a regular basis when I'm pregnant. That's mostly just my preference, but this may want to, this may be a herb that you may want to include in your own batch of this herbal hair growth infusion. Okay, so let's talk about how to make your very own herbal infusion from this recipe. First of all, let's talk about that term herbal infusion and how it differs from herbal tea. What is the difference between a herbal infusion and a herbal tea? Let's talk about that. So a herbal tea is typically used made with less herbs to water ratio. So if you're making a cup of tea, say, you'd probably have about a teaspoon of herbs in there. And generally, people don't steep herbal teas for longer than about half an hour. Now, in contrast, a herbal infusion is made using a literal handful amount of herbs to no more than one liter of water. So there's a far greater ratio of herbs to water and it's steeped for several hours. So I typically make my herbal infusion with this recipe the night before I plan on drinking it. So basically a herbal infusion is much more potent and medicinal than just plain herbal tea and it's a really great way to extract all the nutrients and all the goodness out of the herbs and into the water. So let's talk about actually how to make this herbal infusion and I'm going to recommend to you a great tool that's made this process a lot more convenient for me to fit into my busy life. So when I first learned about herbal infusions, I was taught that you generally make them in a mason jar, just a simple glass mason jar. You put your herbs in and you pour your boiling water in and you let it sit overnight with the lid on and then the next morning you'd have to kind of pour it through some kind of strainer into your cup and then drink it like that. So a mason jar is a very inexpensive and accessible way to begin making herbal infusions, but it does add just an extra layer of complication when you need to get a jar dirty and then you need to also like find a way to strain it right before you drink it and it just kind of adds a little more inconvenience and we want this to be as convenient as possible because that's what's going to help us to keep this recipe in our life for the long haul. So with that being said, let's talk about the awesome tool that I use to make my herbal infusions that has made this so much more convenient for me. What is it? It's a French press. So I use this one liter size of stainless steel French press that was originally my husband's for making coffee in and that's what French presses are typically always marketed as being for is for making coffee. But I have found it's a great tool for making herbal infusions and I will tell you why. First of all, I love that it's stainless steel. There are a lot of sort of tea making accoutrements and pieces of tools out there, but often I see these being made out of plastic and I do not recommend using a plastic tea maker because it's not great to get any of the chemicals that are in plastic into your tea even if these plastics are labeled as being BPA free they still aren't good to be steeping your tea in so I would definitely recommend using something stainless steel not aluminum stainless steel. And by the way, if you'd like to order the exact French press that I myself use that you see in this video, the link will be in the description and in the blog post. 
So the night before I plan on drinking my tea, I put a handful amount of the herbs in this recipe into the French press and I boil some filtered water on the stove in my kettle and then I just pour this in the French press. So the French press has this basically built-in paddle-like fine mesh drainer that is controlled by this handle on the top of the lid. So I put the lid on but I leave the handle up which means that the herbs are sitting loosely in the water and allowing all of their goodness to be extracted into the boiling water and it will sit like that all night until the next morning. So the next morning when I'm ready to drink my, tea, my herbal infusion, all I do is I push down the handle which then pushes down that fine mesh drainer all the way to the bottom. So what it does is it separates out all the herbal sediment out of the tea and pushes it down to the bottom so that everything that's above that paddle that just got pushed down is just your tea without any herbal sediment left in it at all. And then I go ahead and pour some into a cup. That's another thing I love about the French press is it has this handy spout on it so you can just keep your tea right in there and then pour it right into your mug and you don't have to dirty anything separate. So before I drink my tea, I'd like to give you another tip of something I like to add to my herbal infusion to make it even more potent for overall health and skin health and hair health. And that is that I like to add collagen powder to my herbal infusion. So what is collagen powder? I think it's becoming a lot more well known nowadays, but basically collagen is the same substance that our skin and even our bones and our hair is made from, but a lot of us could use more of it in our life, especially as we're aging, we're exposed to environmental toxins and whatever pollution. So collagen is a great addition to this tea. It also is like a natural protein powder. So for example, if I had four scoops of the collagen powder into this cup of tea, it gives it a whopping 20 grams of protein, which is amazing. We could all probably use more protein in our life. Protein is very important for hair growth, but for me, especially right now, at the time of this filming, I am almost eight months pregnant and I like to consume basically a massive amount of protein in my diet when I'm pregnant especially. And so this is an easy way to raise my protein intake for the day in a convenient way. So one quick caveat is that collagen is almost always an animal product of some sort. Most of the time it's from cows, so it's not vegan. Now there are some collagens on the market that are marketed as being vegan appropriate, but I am actually very skeptical of these. I don't really think they would be effective in my opinion because collagen Collagen, again, it comes from skin and bones and I don't really see any way to get viable collagen from a plant. So that's just my take on that. So again, I'm sorry if you're vegan, maybe you might want to try the plant-based collagens, but yes, it is animal-based. Okay, so it's time to drink my morning infusion. I absolutely love this part of my day. It's such a calming, nourishing ritual to add to my busy mornings and it helps me feel that I am prioritizing my own health and my nourishment even in the midst of a very busy day of caring for children or working on videos or whatever the case may be. Okay everyone, I hope you found this video and this herbal infusion recipe wildly helpful. I would love to hear if any of you are inspired to try it out. Leave a comment below and also give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more awesome historical and natural hair care content as well as historical handmade fashion content. So the full recipe for this awesome hair growth benefiting herbal recipe will be written in the description along with links for where you can buy each of the ingredients. This recipe will also be on my blog so you can go ahead and bookmark that page for easy future reference. By the way, on my blog, if you head over there, I also have a free weekly email newsletter that you can sign up for to keep updated with what I'm working on and what I've been releasing. If you found this video wildly helpful, consider sending me a super thanks with the super thanks button right below the video. It's just a really nice way to say thank you and to help support me in continuing to make videos like these for you in the midst of my busy life. You can also choose to virtually buy me a coffee using the link in the description. And thank you to anyone who chooses to show me love in this way. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Okay, everyone. See you on the next video.